Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our Graveyard Heat uh, upgrades, and we're looking at Grave Seal this time. So there's kind of two different strategies for Graveyard Heat, right? There's the exiling cards, there's exiling the whole graveyard, or exiling all graveyards, and then there's just making it so no one's allowed to touch their graveyard, basically. I'm calling this Graveyard Seal, and that's what this video is about. It's kind of the second strategy of Graveyard Hate. There's pluses and minuses to both, right? If you want to have access to your graveyard, you probably don't want a Graveyard Seal. If you're not planning to use yours, you might as well just shut off the resource for everyone, right? Graveyard Seal usually does apply to everyone. It's a global effect. It's not going to, like, hit everyone except for you or something. So, anyway. Please hit like and subscribe. It makes such a big difference. Oh, wait, that's... Mm -hmm. So, what is budget? For this video, I mean $1 or less. A lot of videos, I mean... Most of them, I mean $2 or less. It's always my budget limit, and this one's even lower at $1. Um... This list was made with input from the Budget Magic Group on Facebook, so thank you to the Budget Magic Group for helping out yet again. They're always very helpful. I think I start out with my suggestion and then they end up finding so much better stuff. A go-to. So what is the first card you think of? Ground Seal. This is actually my suggestion. So uh, one and a green for this enchantment, and when Ground Seal enters the battlefield, draw a card. Cards in graveyards can be targets of spells or abilities. Spells or abilities. So this card represents a different strategy for graveyard hate. Once again, like I said in the opening, there's, there's the exiling or exiling graveyard or exiling all graveyards. And then there's just like this, which is like you can't touch anything. There's still graveyards. They're not exiled. They're not out of the game. But for the time being, as long as this is out, you can't touch them. And yeah, so this will prevent all players from having access to the graveyards. And this will turn off things like recursion decks. Also remember, it includes abilities. So a lot of creatures will have things where they get to like maybe XL cards and then cast them from the... Yeah. What is that called again? Um, not... I'm totally spacing. But anyway, you escape, right? Escape. They can get themselves out of the graveyard and be cast again from over and over, right? You would not be able to activate the escape ability, so they could not be used from the graveyard. Or is there anything else really that has abilities that are useful in the graveyard? Like Glory can give all creatures uh, protection from a color of their, the person's choice from the graveyard. And if you shut off their abil uh, graveyard abilities, it's done pretty much shuts off a win con. One of my favorite win cons, actually. Anyway, nine cents. Number five. Silent Gravestones. This is only one mana for this artifact. Arts and graveyards can't be target of spells or abilities. Once again, nice. And for four mana and tap, you can exile it and all cards in all graveyards are exiled. And yeah, so that's a really good... You kind of get in both strategies on this card that way. Draw a card. Um, so yeah, you get to draw a card and you get to like remove everyone else's graveyard. Especially if they're like... You're, you're uh, thinking that they've found some way around this kind of problem of, that you've created of like blocking off their graveyard. I don't know what that would be exactly, but this would deal with it. Anyway, 21 cents. Number four. Nick, Pious Apprentice. So uh, we got a white and a blue for a lifelink 2 3. Not bad. Cards and graveyards can't be targets of spells or abilities. Yeah, hey. And also, Denik has Disturb. That means you may cast this card from your graveyard transformed for its Disturb cost. So it's kind of funny that's a card that like prevents people from casting from the graveyards and or activating abilities from the graveyards and it has disturb so it can be like anyway i think that's funny and a f flying three two so denic pious apparition whenever one or more cards are put into graveyards from anywhere investigate so this turns into like extra card draw for you basically right make a bunch of investigate tokens um 
So if he would be put into a graveyard, you gotta exile him. Right? The second time, once he's a ghost, you gotta exile him if he gets taken out. Anyway, 21 cents. Number three. Weathered Runestone. Alright. I meant to say thanks to B. Waldrong. It's a very long first name. I had it on the number one he recommended also. So thank you for that. And I had the whole it's like Benedict of it, but and I can't say it all, I think. I think so. I'm gonna go B. Waldrong. Thank you for suggesting this one. I actually realized I have some of these kicking around. Anyway. So for two, this artifact, non-land cards in graveyards and libraries can't enter the battlefield. This is kind of better. This stops just things from entering the battlefield. It doesn't block abilities. So if you've got something like glory and you want to make sure you can use your glory, no problem. Use this. That way people won't be able to like take creatures out of the graveyard or other things out of the graveyard but you can keep using your things that you want to use. If you want to activate abilities in graveyards, this is what you use instead of, for your graveyard hate instead of like one of the things that will block you. And players can't cast spells from graveyards or libraries. This also shuts off things casting from libraries, which is really interesting. So if they've got a lot of green effects let you like play with the top card revealed and if it's like a creature or if it's a whatever, you can cast it, this would stop it. So they pretty much have an extra card in hand and you can just take that away from them. Anyway, 23 cents. <laughs> Number two. Kunos, Hound of Ath Athros. Th Eos, um, one white black for this 3-3. Three, three. Vigilance, Menace, Lifelink. That's a solid start. Three mana for 3-3 three, three with three abilities. Ooh. Creature cards in graveyards can't enter the battlefield. Only creature cards. It's kind of nice that it is so narrow focused. It is weird for an Orzhov card to have this because Orzhov loves its recursion, but you know what? Sure, whatever. If you're building some kind of like deck that has white and black and maybe doesn't do a lot of recursion, this would be a good thing to include. And players can't cast spells from graveyards. That's going to just deal with a whole bunch of things, right? It's really a lot of decks that you have will probably be able to make use of this and like it'll be detrimental to other players. There's going to be someone who wants to like cast some kind of creature from the graveyard and you're going to be like, nope, turning that off basically. This is definitely, I love this having something that will just like, it'll shut off some decks and just not affect other decks. Very, very abusable. This is 23 cents. It used to be much more expensive. Why is it not expensive? The same reason as always, because I have it. I have three of these in a binder, and now that they're under 50 cents. Uh, yeah, I hope they'll go back up. Number one. Okay, Ashes of the Abhorrent. For one and a white, this is an enchantment. Players can't cast spells from graveyards or activate abilities of cards in graveyards. Whenever a creature dies, you gain one life. Okay, so this is going to block spells and abilities from graveyards for everyone including you but whenever a creature dies you gain one life a creature not a creature you control just any creature in the whole game if they die you gain life those a lot of those like um lifelink triggers or life gain triggers say like if you gain say three life this happens this happens this happens you get a whole bunch of those and something like this it becomes real easy to start like just setting these off over and over and over especially include yeah include something that like gives you lifelink or gives you a, a bonus to life gain um like every time you gain life gain one extra life that'll get you to that like whatever benchmark you need to get to very quickly right if two things die and you get plus one life every time you gain life you're gaining four life. That's going to activate almost all the abilities that I'm aware of. Anyway, 51 cents. The list. Silent Gravestone is 21 cents. Nick Pious Apprentice is 30 cents. Weathered Runestone is 23 cents. Kunos Hand of Atheros 
is frustratingly also 23 cents. Ashes of the Abhorrent is 51 cents. I really want to get this card. I can't find one for a reasonable price in English in Korea. Anyway, take it easy.